This is Laos, one of the least visited and highly underrated countries in Southeast Asia. In the next couple of videos, we will blow you away with this country. Welcome to Luang Prabang, Lao. We are in this beautiful new country and excited to explore. We're going to be showing you the city today and going to a very special waterfall, Kung Sai Falls. We're going to be going there later, but at the moment, we're going to be heading up to a viewpoint just after sunrise to this beautiful view of the city. So let's head up. So we're just starting to walk up the stairs now and we've seen a, a sign. It says no exercise. Don't know if we have to walk really slowly. No sweating. <laughs> Wait, slow down. We can't sweat because there's no exercise in this region. It's, it's just probably so you don't get runners. Yeah, but... so you don't get runners up here. But So the entrance fee to come up to Fuzi Hill, I think that's how you say it, is 20,000, which is only like a pound. So not too bad. I'm a little bit out of breath. <laughs> Me too. I'm struggling a bit. My fitness is not. It's definitely good. dropped since we've been traveling. Oh. We have just reached the top. We've got the temple up here and then the views of the river Mekong, the great river which goes into the South China Sea. Oh, that's what we spent two days on. Oh, that boat journey was something else. Make sure you go watch that video if you haven't. <laughs> Look how crazy it is. So, this is not even the Mekong, this is another river. The Mekong is just round the other side. And it's just so beautiful. So we're just walking down from Fusai Mountain viewpoint and honestly, I highly recommend it. Definitely check it out whilst you're here in Luang Prabang. You've got amazing views over the city. I would definitely actually recommend coming up here early as well because I've heard it gets really busy in the evening. We haven't been up there yet, but it does get busy. So come early, beat the crowds and yeah, it's pretty brief. So that beautiful temple you see when you come down from the viewpoint, was so busy, full of group tourists. So we're hopefully gonna go there later, but it looks like an absolutely like stunning temple. After a relaxing morning, just kind of walking along the river, we are now going to go for some lunch because I'm hungry. There's loads of little restaurants along the river. So we're gonna go to one of those, check them out. Look at this for a view. This is amazing, look at this. It looks pretty cheap here as well. So look at this, this is khao soy, which is apparently a Lao dish as well. Well, I've actually had this before in Northern Thailand, but it did not look like this. This looks incredible. And I'm so excited to dive into this and give it a taste. They've given you loads of like greens as well to put on it. It's yes. amazing. I've, this reminds me of being in Vietnam actually as well. Like this is incredible. That is so good. Really? No, seriously. That is amazing. That's better than the one I had in Thailand. So I've got this red curry. It basically, I think it's the same as Thai red curry, but it's an extra good one. So definitely recommend coming to this restaurant. Actually, it's really reasonably priced and so good. And an awesome view. Can't complain with that. So after that amazing lunch, we're gonna jump on the bike, which we have just rented for 150,000 to kip. Um, and we're going to the famous Kung Sai waterfall. I'm so excited to go there. The water looks insane. It's supposed to be really blue, so let's check it out. Yeah. So we are still one kilometer away from the waterfall. Um, they must have changed it since I came here last because last time you could just drive up and then you were there. But I think you have to get an electric shuttle towards the waterfall. It's a bit annoying, but I guess it's probably included with the ticket price. So let's go check it out, see what we got to do here. Oh, pretty good price, only 25K. That's really nice. Sabaydi. Look at this, futuristic. Doesn't work. Oh. Should we just go through this gate, the open gate? Should we go here? Yeah, go this. Climb up. This is interesting. I like the looks of this. This feels futuristic. 25k each. I think this is the most modern thing we've seen since we got to Laos. <laughs> it's awesome, I love it. It's so quiet because it's electric. Papa John, if you're watching, this is an electric car. You're loving it. Cop <laughs> chai. So we just parked here when I came five years ago. Bit different now. It's changed a lot. So we have just entered the waterfall and honestly, even on the way here, so many minibuses, so many people leaving and we are just arriving. We haven't got loads of time. We've got about, what? What have you seen? It just looks so pretty, this road. Oh, it does look pretty. Look at this, the light. 
Wow, so green as well suddenly, probably because we're more in the mountains. But yeah, hopefully it's not gonna be that busy now and we're gonna get the waterfall to ourselves. I'm so excited to see this. Here we go. Properly in the jungle now, aren't we? Yeah. It says free the bears. Are we gonna see? Oh, there's a bear. There's an actual bear. Whoa, it's on the move. That's wicked. Wow, is it a sun bear? Yeah. Yeah. How cool is that? He looks like a big fluffy dog. He does look like a fluffy dog. Are they meant to be here? This whole area is just so different to when I came five years ago in 2018. It's been developed so much. I think because of the new railway with the Chinese, and um, so loads of Chinese tourists come down from China. So there's just like so many more tourists here as well. We have just started walking through the jungle up one of the sides of the waterfall. We're just gonna see what it looks like because I think there's different layers um, of the waterfall. So hopefully, gonna see some other perspectives. We just like climbed up that waterfall, not the actual waterfall, side of the waterfall, but because it's so dry, it was actually kind of slippy. Look at this water, it's so reflective. Whoa, guys, look at this viewpoint. This is awesome. You can just kind of see how brown and dry this landscape is. And if you saw on the boat, the slow boat in the last video, there were, are some like forest fires around. So that probably does have effect on what the landscape looks like. This isn't the right way, but just look at the stairs. This must have been an old path up, but it's now just like a waterfall stairs. That's quite crazy, isn't it? These steps do look pretty old and rusty too. So. Yeah. Should we take the other path down? Yeah, I think I'll go the other stairs. Yeah. We have come back down to the bottom now because the top's cool in that, but you just can't see very far on like the viewpoints. So you can't actually see the waterfall. So we've come back down here to see the blue water. Whoa, look at that. That's so cool. So we haven't found out where we can swim yet. Before, years ago, you could swim back there, but I think it's changed a little bit now, but we've just seen some people who have been in like swimwear and they're a bit wet. So obviously you must be able to swim somewhere. Hopefully just down here. I want to swim in the blue water. I think this is the area you can swim, but honestly, just these rocks feel so cold. Oh, it's freezing. Seriously? It's freezing. Really? Yeah. Ah! Amelia is being brave and going for it. Oh, I'm going to try. I never said I'm 100% going to be in there swimming about, but I'm going to give it a go. It is super blue, but super cold. She's warming up. Little warm up. In the jungle of Laos, in the blue water. Oh. Don't let us down. I'm not even trying, but we won't mention that. You let us down. Amelia's really in there. I'm a bit of a coward not going in, but I've got to drive the way back in the cold. Whoa, look at you go. How was that, Amelia? It's so nice, you should have got in. Really? <laughs> it's really refreshing, actually, we'd yeah. recommend. How are you feeling now you're out the water? I feel really good. You know when you go in cold water and you come out and you just feel like really adrenaline rush? Yeah, that's how I feel, really. So you probably are a little bit cold. I yeah, see I am a bit. <laughs> I see goosebumps on you. I was in there for like 10 minutes, though. Yeah. So. Good work. <laughs> Get dry. <laughs> bit warmer? A little bit, my hands are white. <laughs> that is not good. <laughs> it is like gone five and I think it closed at like five o'clock or 5.30 because there's no one else around, literally no one else around here. So I don't know if it's the park's closed or closing quick, uh, like very soon, but it's so much less busy than like before. I do recommend coming like at the end of the day, maybe give yourself a bit more time because we've been a bit rushed, but yeah, there's no one here. so. Come see Kung Sai Waterfall by yourself. What are you doing? I'm trying to get warmth into my hands because I have lost all blood. Oh, it's starting to come back a bit actually. Oh, look at that. <laughs> After being like the only ones in the whole area, suddenly like a massive tour group from like Europe just turn up when I think the park is like closed. So I don't know what's going on. I don't know if they were late and they were just like special access or something, but we're heading out now and there's actually people behind us. So we're <laughs> gonna go back, hopefully get that electric shuttle and then back on the bike, back to Luang Prabang, because we've got to show you the night market because the night market in Luang Prabang is beautiful. There's so much going on and yeah, we'll show you in a bit. So 
after we've got back we've showered and now we are heading to the night market this is like the popular night market in the center of Luang Prabang so let's go check it out So here I've got some water noodle with pork. I think it's quite similar to what I had at lunch, but it looks so good, I just had to get it. Also some dumplings in here as well. I do like dumplings. That's so good. Looks I'm, really lo good. I'm loving like these noodle soup things. They're just so warming and nice, especially when it's a bit cold here in the Wang That looks like, is that Chinese? I don't know, water noodles, like, it might be. I think it might be Chinese. Well, it's good anyway, whatever it is. <laughs> After that amazing water noodle, it's time to explore like the little market where they're selling all kinds of stuff like all clothes, like little souvenirs. We've just finished off the night market and honestly it is massive, it goes on forever. But it kind of gets a little bit repetitive after a while like they start selling the same things. But honestly definitely check it out, it's also the cheapest place to eat at night. Like there's get some really good deals and there's so much food options as well. So, a lot of good food options. Yeah, <laughs> honestly that water noodles was incredible, highly recommend that stall. Okay guys, uh, you're not even going to believe this. I've just picked up the Lao beer, Nam Kong beer premium beer, international standard, and I'm gonna give this a taste because this only cost me, wait for it, 7,000 Lao Kip, 33p. That is ridiculous. I do think I had a cheaper beer in Vietnam back five years ago, but it could be more expensive now. But anyway, let's give this a go. The Nam Kong beer from Lao. Wow. That is premium quality. It says what it is on the tip. It's actually so good. I've got to do some editing, do some bits of work this evening, but I'm going to enjoy this beer and we'll see you in the morning. So it is the morning and it is freezing cold, but we're trying to find the monk's almsgiving. I actually think we might be a little bit late because it said six to seven and it's currently 10 to seven, but we're going to see if we can see any. Hopefully, don't make this mistake and come a bit earlier even though it is very early. <laughs> I think if you want to you can also buy some offering for the uh, the monks or something I'm not I'm not quite sure but yeah let's have a look see if we can actually see any. So unfortunately yes we miss the monks almsgiving and trust me if you want to get here and make sure you see it make sure you come early way before sunrise because I think people were just leaving when we left and um, yeah I'm so sorry about that. So Luang Prabang is such a chilled out city, like it's a good place just to go to cafes, relax by the Mekong, but honestly there's, there's not like loads to do, like there's the temple, like the monks I'm giving which we missed, then obviously the beautiful Kung Sai waterfall, but um, apart from that there's not loads. Sorry about the bad ending of this video, but that's just how life is when you're travelling. Thank you so much for watching, we'll see you in the next video where we're going to Nong Kiao later today, I'm so excited for this, a less touristy place in northern Laos. Let's see you there, bye! bye.